so cute. And she fits in perfectly with our living room. Especially when some of my jeans are probably a little bit tighter than they should be if I'm being honest. It's a little bit longer in the back than it is in the, I should probably show you this in the front because that would not be helpful if I was showing it to you from the longer side. Hello you guys, I hope you're all doing super well. And if anyone's new here, my name is Jenna. Welcome to a styling slash haul video. We actually have a surprise guest here that wants to say hello. Can you say hi? Honey, say hi. Look, say hello. So this is our dog slash, well, it's my friend Amanda's, <laughs> but this is her dog slash porcupine slash hedgehog slash any other animal that you think that she is because she's so tiny and cute. Sometimes people don't think that she's a dog, but she's gonna sit in her little bed while we film this video quickly. Um, but she's never been on the halls before, so say hello. <laughs> she's so cute. And she fits in perfectly with our living room. Okay, so introductions out of the way, we are doing a quick little Revolve haul. I got some good knitwear and a really cool pair of like, I always call them bottoms, but I don't wanna like give away what they are, but things you wear on the bottom part. So I'm gonna unbox everything and then I'll also do cutaways of everything of me styling it and um, showing you guys what it looks like on. I know I didn't do that in my past few videos. I'm very well aware and I know that you guys like to see them tried on. So we're doing that in this video and all of the ones in the future. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss any of my future upcoming hauls. I'm planning on doing another Zara haul and I also have a second Revolve order that should be arriving probably later this week or early next week. So lots to come and I don't want you guys to miss it in addition to all of the vlogging that I do. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and join the family. So I have the box of everything here. I kind of just unpackaged everything in a vlog, but I'm gonna go through each piece with you guys and kind of like give you the details on everything. And I'm gonna start with my quote unquote favorite. If you guys have watched any of my try on hauls before, you would probably notice that I normally can't choose a favorite. And I think there's like two pieces out of this one that I'm a little bit more obsessed with than the other ones. And this is one of them. So we have a cardigan surprise there and it has cute little pearls all over it. It kind of looks like polka dots from far away, but it's this really soft knit sweater. The cuffs kind of gather in a little bit. You can see how fluffy it is. I just love a cozy fluffy sweater for fall, but the thing that I loved about this one is that it's something that you can dress up. And I pictured this right away with like cigarette like trousers and loafers to wear to work, maybe with a white tee underneath, or you can keep it all black as the base. But I just thought that that would look so cool because I struggle with finding pieces that are appropriate for work, but that also feel like me. And I was talking with my friend Megan about this and I like fully understood what she was saying where she was like, I feel like I look appropriate for work, but I don't feel like I'm dressing for like the fashion that I want to dress for. And that's something that's honestly hard to achieve when you have like rules about how to dress in the workplace. So this I thought was a really cool piece for that. You could also put on straight leg trousers if you want. If you have a more casual office, then I think jeans and loafers would look really nice. But yeah, something like a really simple shoe paired with this, I feel like is a really nice workwear look. And then also you can throw it over a dress. You can drape it over your shoulders if you want to wear it out. And yeah, such a cute classic piece. You guys know I love black and white and this is all of that in addition to having some really fun personality. Okay, so then we'll move on to my second favorite. And this is a pair of jeans. I kind of mentioned this when I unboxed this, if you guys saw my vlog, but I gravitate toward oversized pieces. You guys know that, but especially whenever I see in a European or like somewhat, I mean, when you're in New York, you can kind of tell like who's European and they always have the coolest outfits. And I'm like, Every single time, like a common theme that I do see is that they're normally wearing some sort of like really cool denim and it's normally really baggy and really wide leg. And I had this misconception that that was gonna look sloppy and that it would look almost like I'm drowning in it. But I saw this pair of denim and I thought that this would be a perfect way to try out this European look. And these are straight leg jeans. They're not only straight leg, but they're wide leg. So they're a wide straight leg jean. And I know that they're gonna be this really cool baggy fit. It's not for everybody. I will fully 
admit that, but I think that it's a really cool piece that can dress up such a simple like top. So if you have just like a black sweater and you wanna make the outfit look a little bit more cool, like this is such an easy way to do this. This denim is so soft. This is the brand Lovers and Friends. And honestly, I didn't know that they did denim. So when I saw these and saw that it was this brand, I was kind of surprised. Um, but they also do sustainable denim, which is absolutely amazing. And I just love the fit of these. That's what I gravitated toward. And you guys know I love a light wash. I just think that it's pretty and it can work for all year round. So I would throw on the sweater that I just showed you guys with this, but also like any cropped knit, I feel like would look really cool. And then moving into the colder months, like an oversized coat would look really nice over the top of this and just some sort of chunky sneaker. I think because the hem is so wide, I wouldn't put heels on with this for some reason, or I should say booties. I wouldn't wear booties with this style of denim, but I think I would do a strappy heel if I wanted to dress this up with like a bodysuit or some sort of crop. I think that that would be really cute. But again, it's another pair of really high quality denim and just a really good part that it's also sustainable. And yeah, I just think the fit's really cool. So if you guys are looking to change up your denim a little bit, I have so many pairs of like classic basic denim that I thought that this would be a really fun pair to add into my collection. Okay, next we'll do this piece that I thought was so cool and a really good concept. I'm gonna think it's a cool concept, but some of you guys are gonna be like, um, why? But I got this poplin bodysuit and hear me out. So the same reason that I like the black sweater for work, I also, love to wear a poplin shirt, but sometimes tucking in an oversized poplin shirt into a pair of pants when I wanna look a little bit more polished and not have that oversized fit, there's just a lot of bunching that goes on. And I felt like this was solving all of my problems where it is a poplin shirt. It has these cool seams down the front of it. So it kind of gives the illusion of boning. This is a very, very soft, like cotton feeling fabric. So it's not like your traditional crunchy sort of feel when it comes to a poplin shirt. I feel like a lot of like Zara's shirts are like that and they wrinkle super easily. This is obviously wrinkled right now because I just took it out of the box, but then it comes down into a bodysuit. And not only that, it is a thong back. So I feel like this is just a really practical piece for when you're trying to tuck in a shirt and it's like, why didn't I think of this before? Or why didn't I try to look for something like this before? And now it just fell in my lap and I'm so excited about it because this with like trousers or jeans or any sort of like elevated pant that you wanna to wear to work. I think it's gonna look really nice and cool, but also just very functional. Again, like I said, this is like something that I didn't think of would exist and it does and I'm so happy about it. So really good workwear piece. I think a poplin shirt in general is something that people are lacking in their wardrobes. So this would be a really good one to add in, especially if you don't wanna have that super like bunchy type of look. I know some people wear suits to work and you have to tuck your shirt into your trousers. So this would be a very easy piece to throw into your wardrobe. Okay, next we'll do this top. And <laughs> I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I'm kind of a sucker for texture, especially in the fall and winter months, just because I think that it looks, if you add texture to something, if it's a little bit fluffy, like it just looks so much cozier and warmer. And that is definitely necessary for a sleeveless bodysuit. So this is a Lovers and Friends black velvet bodysuit. And it also has this super high neck, which I thought was really cool, especially because normally when you have a turtleneck, it's a chunky sweater, it's long sleeved. And I felt like this was a really cool piece to wear out. Um, this would be considered like a fall dinner top, like date night, girls night, anything like that, just because the fabric makes it a little bit fancier. I think that this would look so cute with like a leather skirt and boots. You can do jeans, obviously. Um, for some reason, I can't picture myself wearing trousers with this. I know that sounds insane because I wear trousers with probably like everything. And I don't know, I think it's because of the material. I just thought that um, leather would look a little bit cooler or denim just to roughen it up a little bit. But again, this is a thong back bodysuit. I don't know if Revolve has a policy about it, but I'm super happy that all of them are thong back because I just don't like having to deal with underwear lines, especially when some of my jeans are probably a little bit tighter than they should be if I'm being honest. So yeah, just a really nice simple piece, but that has a little bit more personality to it. Okay guys, the final piece is the biggest coziest sweater I think I've gotten off of Revolve to this day. And we have a cream cardigan here. The thing that I loved about this one was tortoiseshell buttons. 
You guys know that I love a little bit of contrast when it comes to having an all neutral wardrobe. And I just thought that the buttons were a really nice, like warm touch to an already like super warm and fuzzy cardigan. And then also I thought that the hem was really cool. So you could see that it's a little bit longer in the back than it is in the, I should probably show you this in the front because that would not be helpful if I was showing it to you from the longer side. Um, but you could see that the back hem is a little bit longer than the front. And I just think, again, it's like such a simple detail that makes it look a little bit more different and interesting. And then we also have wide cuffs. So I guess that's three elements of this sweater that I am loving in addition to the fact that it's a very soft knit. So this one I was picturing with like those super baggy jeans. You can also wear all black underneath and throw this over the top if you just want a little bit of warmth. This is probably going to be the one sweater that I throw into my work bag and never take out because it is freezing in my office. And I just want something cozy. Like I brought a leather jacket the other day and it just wasn't doing the trick. And obviously if you get warm, you could throw it over your shoulders. So there's just a little bit more you can do with a knit in terms of functionality and versatility if you are someone who gets freezing in the office. But yeah, I feel like this is the perfect warm, soft, oversized cardigan for the fall. And I'm so happy to add this into my cardigan collection. It's getting a little bit out of control. I've already worn the ones that I had so many times. So I know that I will get a ton of use out of these as well. And that is it for this week's Revolve haul. I hope you guys enjoyed all the pieces. I know that everything is at a little bit more of a higher price point, but to me, investing in pieces like these that you know are going to wash well and that are going to wear well and that are not going to shrink the first time or wash out the first time you wear them is really important to me because I am very big on a capsule wardrobe and that means that you don't have to buy as many pieces and even if you just buy one out of the five of these pieces just to keep in your wardrobe for five plus years then I feel like that is the way to go as opposed to buying like a ton of different things and only wearing them once but anyway it is way too late in a video for me to be going off on a rant but i hope you guys love this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did and i hope to see you guys in my upcoming vlogs or styling videos or hauls whatever the case may be and i'll see you guys soon